Good day and welcome to Hope for the Family with Evangelist Moya Antonia Eden. God is good all the time. We thank God for His faithfulness towards us for all He is doing in our lives and what He has done previously. We bless Him for being our God, God that will never fail us. We thank Him for the strength He has given to us this morning to stand on the foundation He has laid for our feet. Amen. We are standing on the foundation of our faith. And we are contending for our most holy faith with everything within us. Glory, hallelujah, amen. We know that Jesus conquered the world and he gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. We have every reason to sing hallelujah to our God today. For what God has given to us in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The power we have, the strength to do great works. We are able to do the impossible. We have victory over the forces of darkness in this world. In our homes, in our dwelling places, we hear the shouts of victory and rejoicing every day in the name of Jesus Christ. Because our God came to our help when the enemy came against us. God gave us the strength to prevail, to stand against the device of the wicked, to trample upon everything the enemy brought against us. God helped us in the battle. He lifted up our heads. Amen. He refreshed us. He gave us wisdom. He gave us everything we needed to help us to prevail. Every day is giving us the things we need to prevail against the forces of darkness. So we have every reason to praise God, to thank Him, to come into His gates with thanksgiving today, to come into His courts with blessings. Our God doesn't delight in sacrifices. He wants us to come to Him with thanksgiving, to testify of His faithfulness, to acknowledge that He is God in our lives, in our communities, in the life of our children, in the life of our husbands. There is God in the church of Christ here on earth, wherever we congregate in his name, is God in our nations. Amen. He wants us to come to him, to acknowledge him before the world, to bless him, to lift up praises to him for the things he has done for us. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Let us give God pleasure through the things we do today. In our families, wherever we go, let us truly be shining lights, bringing goodness to the world around us, bringing the love of God encouraging one another in the things of God, lifting up people and reminding them of their position in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in the plan of God. Amen. To bring the entire nations underneath the feet of Jesus Christ. To bring anything that will stand against the will of God in our nations underneath the feet of Jesus Christ. That God is waiting for us to turn to Him. God wants to use us. So we have to praise God for the privileged position that God has given to us. And our families as his children. We are the one called by his name in this world. We are the redeemed of God. We are the ones that have been victorious. We are already victorious over the forces of darkness. Jesus Christ has fought the battle for us. So we have everything to thank God, to bless him. We are not even aware of the battles that uh, God fights on our behalf every day. Angels are always, always around us, ministering unto us, helping us that our feet will not strike against a stone. They lift us up, up, up in their hands. Amen. If we can just look into the spiritual realm and see the kind of battles and confusion caused by the kingdom of darkness and how God paths, uh, set a path for us to walk on. A path that we walk on, bringing us to where God wants us to be. This morning we have every reason to thank God, to bless Him for being our God. He has set tables before us today in the presence of our enemies. We are feeding on those tables. We are not afraid of what the wicked will do unto us. He has anointed our heads with oil. He has given us his word. He has anointed our mouths to speak as his oracles. We will not be intimidated by anyone. We do the work that God has called us to do. Our eyes are looking up to our God, heavenly wisdom. We do not pay attention to little things that have nothing to do with our spiritual growth or the ministry God has entrusted to us. We have been called... And if God has called us, he has called us to, to show forth his praise to the world, to let people know what he has done, so that more souls, what he has done for us, so that more souls will be brought into his kingdom. Today, we want to sing the song of victory. Amen. Because our ears are tuned to the voice of victory and rejoicing within our homes, as wisdom continues to lead us on the path that God has laid for us. This day, we have come before a God that loves us, a God that answers our prayers. We are going to pray and then we answer our prayer. We are going to read from the word of God. We feed on it and we'll pray and God will answer our prayers. Before we do that, I want to sing the song of victory. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a simple chorus. Well, I'm sure a lot of people know it. A very old simple chorus for tells us that Jesus Christ has conquered the world and he has given us victory. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus conquered the world. And gave us victory. 
victory, 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 hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory, 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 hallelujah. We must sing this song believing that Jesus Christ has already conquered the world. Conquered sins, diseases, sicknesses, conquered because of the cross, because of tradition and culture, tradition of men, anything that will lay any heavy burden upon us, that Jesus Christ has given us total victory over us on wickedness, the strong man and woman in, fam in family and in our nations that are trying to come against us, that Jesus Christ has broken every snare, that Jesus Christ has made a public spectacle of the kingdom of hell, and he has given us to that victory over the forces of darkness that will ever come against us, that we are walking in the victory that Christ has given to us. We must believe that we are victorious in our health, we are victorious in our finances, we are victorious in our marriages, our children are victorious, we are victorious in our lives, in our communities we are victorious, in the body of Christ we are victorious, on our jobs we are victorious, wherever we gather we are victorious, Charles of victory and rejoicing will be held in the tabernacle of the righteous because our God has defended us, he has given us that victory, Jesus Christ did not turn his back against us, he went on to that cross, we are victorious today, Jesus conquered the world and he gave us victory, in the name of Jesus, who can stand against that victory that we have in Jesus Christ? Who can take the joy of our salvation? Who can come against the knowledge of God in our will? Who can lift up their hands of all voices against us? All like a we are victorious. In the name of Jesus, we can see victory around us. We are filled with the spirit of rejoicing this morning. With the spirit of thanksgiving. We are thanking our God for giving us victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we can see the spirit of prosperity around us. We can see the help of God. We can see God leading us all in the enemy center and bringing us to where he wants us to be. We can see the right hand of God that does valiantly fighting for us, pulling that strongholds. All in the name of Jesus Christ. We can see our God helping us to stand on solid foundation, lifting up our heads to the above our enemies, touching us and restoring perfect health and spirit of wellness upon us in our mind, spirit and souls, in our bodies, in the name of Jesus Christ. We can see God this morning rebuking the spirit of cancer, rebuking uh, attack on our memories and our body cells in the name of Jesus Christ, flushing out from our blood every evil deposit. We can see God helping us this day, blessing all our medicine and medical equipment used in our care in the name of Jesus Christ. We can see, Father Lord, all the spirit of miracle, rebecca and Talabah flowing today in the name of Jesus Christ, touching your children wherever they are. We can see the wondrous work of God being done in our midst today. Jesus Christ has given us total victory. Oh, we triumph over work of darkness. Oh, God Almighty, we bless you. We trample upon principalities and enemies to stand in our path today. We come against every obstruction in spirit. Jehovah God, we prevail. We are running our race today for giving us inner strength to prevail. To, to leap over wars today. That wars are coming down because of us. Oh, Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the victory we have on the cross of Calvary. Everything that we ever for the Lord to make us and put us in this world have been nailed to the cross of Calvary. Sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, you over God. Shame, disgrace from the pit of hell, you over God. Reproaches, the enemy will try to bring upon us, you over God. The spirit of Cain, minus bitterness, oh Lord God, envy, jealousy, in the name of Jesus Christ. The spirit of witchcraft, sorcery, magic, or principality, agent of darkness, authorities, rulers, of dominion of darkness, even the Lord, are made to the cross of Calvary. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we prevail in good works in this world and we give you thanks for all you have done for us. We thank you, Jehovah God, for blessing us with our children, their inheritance from you. Oh, Father, we bless you. But the blessing on the womb is a reward from you. Thank you, Jehovah God, that our people are full with our children. Thank you, Jehovah God, that our children will do well. Thank you, Jehovah God, that our children bring resources to us. Thank you, Jehovah God, that our children are giving us strength, Lord God, to prevail against the first of darkness. Thank you, Jehovah God, that the enemy cannot find an entrance to our homes, Lord God. Thank you, Jehovah God, that our children have said that such identities that you created them to be. May as men, female as female, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God, that we are called for the truth concerning the marriage institution, that we marry men to female, and we pass on the tradition to our children, they marry men to female. Oh God, thank you that we reproduce Father Lord, we are able to reproduce Father Lord, multiply, we are able Father Lord to conquer and replenish this earth. Thank you, Jehovah God, for all you have done for us. Thank you for your sweet happiness every day. Thank you, Jehovah God, for the sweet of fruitfulness within our families, Jehovah God. Thank you that the husbands and priests within our homes, Lord God. Thank you, Father, that the wives and fruitful vines within their homes, Lord God, that they teach their children how to know you, how to have a fear of you in their hearts, Lord God. Thank you, Jehovah God, that they nurture their children in the things of God. Thank you that the husbands and wives are united in only matrimony and ministry work, that the weapon of fortune against you, you know, we prosper. God, we bless you. We thank you for in the every walk of darkness. We thank you for encompassing us with your holy presence. We bless you for all the good things you have done in our lives, Lord God. Be that exalted in our midst, Lord God. Thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, who can come against us when God is for us. Oh, God, we thank you. From my youth, they prove they made their forest long, Father Lord. They plowed on our backs, but they did not prevail against us because you are there right there to help us, Father Lord. Oh, Raka Shepherd Father Bahama. But the enemy will never prevail against us and our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, we bless you this morning. Jesus Christ conquered the world and he gave us victory. Victory in the hands of God as we congregate together in one name, in one spirit in Christ. Jehovah God, we thank you for the spirit of self control with all in the church, Jehovah God. We thank you for we are united, oh Lord God. It's when we are united that you bestow the blessing. We bless you, God Almighty, for the spirit of prayer in the church. In the name of Jesus Christ, that your house is called a house of prayer for all for all nations, Father Lord, and not a den of robbers. Thank you, God, for letting our eyes to see. We are overturning every table of money changes, Father Lord. We are coming against and are bringing those that are bringing things into the church to serve Jehovah God. We overturn, Father Lord, every transaction done in this we are contrary to your will. Arise rise unto us and help us, Father Lord, that the church will continue to support, Father, the great commission, continue to march forward. Thank you for all the outreach ministry from the church, Jehovah God, from within the church, Father Lord, blessing our communities in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for souls that are coming into the kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God, for bus letters returning back. Thank you that the church supports the great commission, Father, and support those that have gone out into the mission field. Jehovah, we bless you. We lift up the banner of Jesus Christ. We bless you that there's love in our midst, Lord God. We come against the activity of false prayer and teachers. Those that are coming to the church will cause confusion. That are after their bellies, we come against them. Oh, the him is that. We all pray them from our midst in the name of Jesus Christ. Prevail for the Lord within the house of God. Thank you for placing us in our rightful positions. Thank you that we, we recognize our, our calling, Jehovah God. That we are not just fetching us within the house of God for the Lord. That we are there working faithfully for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That the body of spiritual welfare will not be on the shoulders of our pastors alone in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God, for spiritual fathers and mothers that seek you and that do good works in their congregation. They are rightly distribute the word of truth to their members in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, that you use them for them to do great works in the kingdom. To overturn every evil brought into the house of God, contrary to your will. Thank you that they speak as your oracles. Thank you, Jehovah God, that they are raising up leaders, oh Lord God, leaders of the next generation that will take over from their parents. Thank you, Father Almighty, for encouraging them. Thank you, Jehovah God, that they will never be discouraged, even by their own congregation. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father Lord, that they will never compromise with the world and they seek heavenly wisdom in all they do. Thank you, Father Lord, for blessing their hands to heal, to anoint, to break chains, Lord God, to baptize. Thank you, Lord God, for anointing their mouths to teach the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ, to console and to encourage your children in the name of Jesus Christ, to motivate and inspire your children to do good works in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for all you are doing for the house of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you that when we congregate in your name, Father Lord, your spirit indwells the presence of your children. Thank you, God, that we are that we worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Jehovah God, that there's no lie, no secrecy, no deception where we are. As children of God, Father Lord, we renounce everything that will bring a reproach or shame upon the body of Christ. Jehovah God, have your way in our midst, Lord God. Thank you that we can write beside the body of Christ that we are different parts of one body. Oh God, arise unto the church in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the church continue to prevail, to move forward. No weapon fashion against the church of Christ on earth can prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are Rabbi Kashida, but you are setting each other on a solid foundation that the gates of hell cannot prevail against the church in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, your word is moving forward. It cannot return to you empty. 
mercy. Oh, the word has gone forth into the uttermost end of the world. Jehovah God, we are going all over him and into the nations. As he has sent us forth into the nations to do great thoughts for you. Thank you that the word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our paths, leading us to the places we must go to, to the doors we must knock on, to the souls we must bring into the kingdom in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, God, we bless you. We thank you that the children are turning back to you. We bless our people renouncing foreign religion, Lord. We thank you people tearing that house, oh God, Jehovah God, and coming down to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that your children can repent of their sins and your eyes are always out straight to a sinner in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for making sinners meet people in the name of
nations, Lord God, and restore your nations back to your nations back to your children. We bless you, God, for your portion in the land of the living. Thank you, God Almighty, for feeding us, Father Lord. Thank you, Jehovah God, for helping us. Thank you for being involved in the affairs of men. You are our God, there's no God that see. We bless you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for all you have done for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you have brought our leaders and nations and families before you this day, Father, we repent of our sins in which we are falling short of your glory. Oh, forgive us, Lord God, touch us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ. We ask for forgiveness, oh Lord our God, in the name of Jesus. We hand Santa of our heart. You have a cry on behalf of our people today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive us, Father, for we have all sin, Father Lord. We have all fallen short of your glory. Have mercy, Jehovah God. You are our God in the name of Jesus. Cleanse our land all over our bloodshed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we cry out to you on behalf of Nigeria today. We cry out to you on behalf of America. We cry out to you on behalf of the nation of Israel. We cry out, Father Lord, on behalf of all the nations of the world. Oh, Brother Hama, the various continents, Europe, oh Lord God, be the center of our In the name of Jesus Christ, Africa, in the name of Jesus Christ, Asia, in the name of Jesus Christ, River Mission, North America, South America, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Pacific Father Lord, we just call out to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, every day and the world we present to you this morning. And rise, oh Lord God, the islands, oh Lord God, of the world that belong to you. Father, arise and help us today. In the name of Jesus Christ, that the will be done in the land. In the name of Jesus Christ, in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ, have your way and your children are gathered today. We are never persecution is taking place for the Lord over John captivity and save your children from the iron rod of oppression. In the name of Jesus Christ, for your word says the rod of oppression cannot be laid on the land you have given to the righteous. Jehovah, arise and do what you know can do in our midst. Glory be to your mighty name. There is our God, that our God, there is no God that see. Oh, Raka Shendaraba, Haba, Haba, Haba. Riba, Ben, Sendaraba, Hobo, Shendaraba. Riba, Ben, 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 Sendaraba, Hobo, Shenda. Riba, Ben, Shendaraba, Haba, Sendaraba, Hobo, Shenda. In the name of Jesus Christ, for the Lord, we do not know the devil, so that wickedness the enemy has brought against us. But we have you, we know you. Let your spirit help us this day, so that the living God, we do not have to pray. We do not know what we ought to pray about. Oh, pray today, that from our mouth, thanks be lifted up to God today, for what God has done for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Our God who loves us so much, who sent his son, our Lord, that Jesus Christ, who of Jesus Christ, to die for us, and be a sinner. Pray today for us. The Lord of the living God, help us. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the will of God be done in our lives, in our community, and the body of Christ. Let the will of God be done in our nations, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let God have his way in our lives, today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our God be magnified in our midst, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us find rejoicing in the rock of our salvation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we bless you. For you have helped us, you have delivered us from every plan of the enemy. You have broken the snare, you have made us so to escape. Out of the fallen snare, because we are flying from the snare, we are flying from the enemy. You have broken the snare, you have made us so to escape. Out of the fallen snare, we are flying free like birds today. Leaping over wars, wars are coming down because of us today. We are rejoicing for what you have done for us, oh Lord God Almighty. We bless you, God. We have been sent to the whole world, for shaking the four corners of the earth and releasing the upon us, bearing peace, oh Lord God. Everything that belongs to us and our families, we say, Father, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we commit unto your hands today. Our ministry, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ, you remember Shendraba. As we remember the same solo God of our ministry, Jehovah God, we thank you for all that have died for that in the line of service. We thank you for those that are service that are still working today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless our police force. We bless, bless for our, for, for our soldiers. We bless for the secret services. We thank you, God Almighty, for the good works they are doing in our communities as they defend the nations, Lord God. Let your wisdom lead them. Let them go out in your name, in your authority, in your power, in your might, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Reverend Him is sent that of Oh, God, preserve their souls from evil, Jehovah God. But I lead them to those places they must go to, to, to take them from all of those coming against the nations, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ. But I know that wisdom lead them today in Jesus' mighty name. Bless them, their families, Jehovah God. Give them the peace they need in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, we thank you for safety in our communities. Thank you, God Almighty, for what you are doing through the police force. We bless you, our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for being the God who helps us. Oh, we bless you. As we travel by land, by sea, by the water, we as we go around in public transportation by train, oh Lord God, by buses, Jehovah God, Rebbe Him is sent that of Father, you keep us safe in the name of Jesus Christ. Your will and will, Lord, we've done in our lives here on earth as it is in, as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven. Oh Father, we say, Lord, Rebbe Him, your hands are lifted up against the wicked, the wicked are coming down by your mighty power. Be that in sudden glory. Hallelujah, amen. We thank you, God, in Jesus' mighty and precious name. We have prayed in the name of Jesus. Rebbe Him is sent that of the for our God has come to our help this morning. Glory be to your mighty name, Father Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. At this time, we commit unto your hands those looking up to you for the blessing.
blessing of the womb. Those that are carrying pregnancies, oh Lord God, we may be center of a whole ocean. Protect your children, Jehovah God. Protect your born babies in the wombs of their mothers, oh Lord God. Rebuke the spirit of abortion, oh Lord God. Every attack on your born babies will turn back to send us in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, help your daughters to bring their babies into this world in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, we bless you for what you look and do in the lives of your children in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for turning dead to Lord God. I shine better than every plan of the enemy to attack your children. Jehovah God, we thank you that your children are looking up to you for the blessing of the womb, Father Lord, that you have given them their own children, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you have rebuked every attack of the enemy. Jehovah God, we thank you that your sons can impregnate their wives, Jehovah God. We rebuke this with our barrenness. We bless you, God, that nothing will grow where the babies should be in their mother's wombs in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we thank you that they are able to carry pregnancy to full time. We bless you for what you have done in the name of Jesus Christ. We glorify your mighty name for babies that are being dedicated to you even right now. Babies that are being born to this world right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you are God. We thank you that we will not die prematurely. We bless you, our Father, that no evil shall be for us and our families. Thank you, God, for helping us. Thank you, Father, for giving us rejoice in this day. Every reason to thank you. Every reason to glorify in your name. Every reason to enjoy the life you have given to us. Oh God, we bless you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for what you have done. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. May God be exalted in our midst today in the name of Jesus Christ. He is our God. He will never fail us in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. We have every reason to be victorious today. To rejoice because we are victorious over the forces of darkness. We have every reason to thank God for what God alone can do in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We have every reason to thank God and to testify about His faithfulness to the world around us. We have every reason to tell our children the goodness about the goodness of God. That everything we have today that God gave to us, not through our own power, but our God, our God. So that our children will begin to draw closer to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to test God on their own. Amen. So that they can see the goodness of God in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning, I want to read from the book of the Psalms. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Psalm 50. I will read a few verses. I will read from verse 1 to 6. Where yeah, I want us to pay attention. I will read from verse 1 to 13. I want us to pay attention to the fact that God does not delight in our sacrifices. The sacrifice that God wants from us is the sacrifice of thanksgiving. He wants us to come to him with, with thanks, with words in our mouths, to bless him, in our mouths to bless him for his faithfulness, to thank him for what he has done for us. For us to show him that we acknowledge that he's our God, that he has done wondrous works for us, that is. Through his grace, because of his love to us, so that we are alive and we are not consumed by the wrath of the wicked. He wants us to come to a state in our lives where we acknowledge that he is God that has done good things for us. God that has blessed us and our families. God that has provided all our needs. So what God wants from us is praise. To so come with thanksgiving. As we come with thanksgiving, we must come with words of repentance too. We must acknowledge that we are falling short of the glory of God. Come to him and ask for forgiveness. We cannot hide our sins because when we hide our sins, our bones will be destroyed. We must, come, we must come to God with words of prayer. Because prayer is the key that opens many doors for us. Doors of blessings. Prayer is a spiritual warfare to stop the mouth of the lion, of the, lion, of the evil forces of darkness coming to come against us. To hold back their hands and to trample upon them. Prayer are words, spiritual arrows coming out from our mouths that, that send back every word that the enemy has spoken against us. Prayer confuses the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. As we begin to utter words in prayer, the enemy around us becomes aware that, oh, they know the things I have done. Because they hear us saying those things in prayer, not by our own power or might, not by our own knowledge. Not by our own vision or anything, but through the revelation of the Spirit of God as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Those words are coming out from our mouth, ordered by the Spirit of the living God. So as we begin to say, say, wow, so they know. When a wicked person is around you, the person tries to, to stop your prayer. Try to distract you by anything so that you will not pray. Because as soon as that word is coming out from your mouth, you are saying what they have done in darkness, in secret. In, in the darkness of the night while we are sleeping. In their own secret places. They hear you uttering, saying those words coming out from your mouth by the spirit of the living.
in God. Yeah, that shakes their foundation. They become confused. That what else can we do against this one? Well, everything we planned yesterday have just been overturned by every word they have spoken right now. Children of the living God, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Come to God with words of thanksgiving. Come with humble hearts, repentant hearts, repentant hearts, and ask God for forgiveness. Come and ask for wisdom. Come to receive mercy. Come to obtain grace to help us in our times of needs. We are going to pass through seasons of needs in this world. If you think everybody around you will love you, in your family, in your community, where you work, in your church family, you are wasting your time. There are people that will hate you because you are doing good works. There are people that will hate you because you are doing bad works. When I say you, I mean myself, inclus inclus inclusive. Amen. There are people that don't just have any other spirit but the spirit of hatred because that's what they have. The word of God says that the wicked are separated from the righteous right from death. They have a different spirit in them. So be aware of the devices of the enemy, but not be fearful of the devices of the enemy. Because in you is the spirit of victory. We have just sang a song this morning that Jesus Christ conquered the world and he gave us victory. He conquered as for wickedness, culture, tradition, the spirit of witchcraft, the spirit of magic, sorcery, every spirit contrary to the will of God. He stilled the storm of the sea for us. He rebuilt the wind for us. The elements will bless us today. Everything that God has created will bless us. When we begin to bless God, when we begin to give him thanks for what he has done for us, for fighting our battles, for helping us so many times, we will receive blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. God is going to show us with blessing. God is going to shake the foundations of the world because of us to help us in the name of Jesus Christ. We are blessed. Jesus Christ has already given us total victory over anything that will stand against us. God has not given us children that will cause sorrow in our lives. God has given us children that are blessings unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke the enemy. Nothing can hold on our children and begin to use them for evil purposes. Our children are released by the power of the living God in the name of Jesus Christ. It's as God said it will be, that's the way it will be in our families. We claim the blessings of God in the name of Jesus Christ. We are children of God who know the power of God. Who are strong in his hands to do great works. We do not doubt him. How do you come before a God you doubt? You only come before somebody that you know can help you. We remember the story of that woman that will go to the judge. Always in the, in, 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 in the gospel. In, the, in Matthew, I think it was in Matthew and it was in Luke and Mark. The woman went all the time. She was calling, help me, help me. The judge got weary of this woman coming every time. And he got up to administer justice. That judge was known to be someone that did not uh, that would, uh, was not administering justice. Amen. He, he was known like someone that was partial, someone that was wicked. But yet, because this woman kept coming, help me, help me, he got up and he administered justice. If man would do that, can you imagine what our God would do for us when we come to Him, bringing our prayers, our petition, our petition on behalf of on our behalf, on behalf of our families and nations and our children, on behalf of the body of Christ to God every day. Our God will. Administer justice to us. Amen. And as we receive justice from God, he expects us to also administer justice in our nations. That's why he gave us a faith to work with him, to give him pleasure and to administer justice in our nations in the name of Jesus Christ. We waste our time when we come to God to ask. And when God gives us, we do not use it to bless it, to bless our people. We cannot receive from God. The literally has already given to us. What are we doing with them? He has given us so much. What are we doing with the things we have? We must show God that we are able to utilize the gifts, the blessings he has given to us for us to receive more in the name of Jesus Christ. So this morning, it's thanksgiving that we are brought before God. As we give God thanks, God blesses us in the name of Jesus Christ. We lack nothing good. This morning, he has led us beside still waters. He has refreshed our souls. Our souls have been revived. Amen. He has provided everything we need for the day. He has anointed our heads with the oil of gladness. We have every reason to, every reason to rejoice. That's not the fact that we know the things happening around us. We must find a place to rejoice, a place to give God thanks, a place to encourage ourselves so that we continue to run our race and we do not slumber into, into depression or in the name of Jesus Christ. So that we continue to live the life that God has called us to live on earth here in Jesus' mighty name. We are mighty in his hands to do great works. Believe who you are, who God says you are. Believe who God says he is to you. Uphold the testimony of God. Lift up the truth wherever you are. Proclaim the truth wherever you are. 
Live as a child of God. Let the spirit of goodness and mercy be seen in you as you interact with people around you. Even those that do not accept you, pray that God will give you the inner strength to overlook everything they are doing so that you look upward. Let no man stop you from receiving your blessings. They know they will come to tempt. They will come to tempt you in the name of Jesus Christ. They will come to tempt me. They will come with their stones in their hands. But before they come, in the head of we return the stones in the name of Jesus Christ. We stand on the, on the foundation of our faith today to say, Father, you have given us strength to prevail. Jesus Christ conquered the world and gave us victory. We have victory in everything in Jesus' mighty name. Glory, hallelujah, amen. So I'm going to read now to end this session from the book of Psalm 50 from verses 1 to 13. Glory, hallelujah, amen. The mighty one, God the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun to the going down, to its going down. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God will shine forth. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous all around him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare his righteousness. Amen. For God himself is judge. Yea, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices. Or your burnt offerings, which are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your house, nor goats out of your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of wolves or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. God is not asking us for sacrifices. We have just heard that he knows the birds, he knows them by their names. That all the cattle upon a thousand eats belong to him. The bulls, the goats, everything. He created everything. The world is his. He founded it. That if we are hungry, he will not answer for us. Wherever you see the nation of Israel, let us put our names. We behave the same way. We are the same people. Without God, we are the same people. We sin. We stray from God. We all crave after the things of this world. The lust of the flesh. The, the pride of life and the craving of the eyes. We are, we are, we, we, we all pass through the same temptation. Without God. Let us put our name there. It's not about self-righteousness of any nation above another. We are all the same in flesh and blood. God is not asking us for sacrifices. That everything he created, they are all is. If we are hungry, he won't ask us for anything. He could satisfy his own needs. The God who created us. But what he wants is our thanksgiving. We should offer unto him thanksgiving. Do not bring blood. Jesus Christ has died for us. His blood has been accepted by, Jesus, by God for every one of us. That blood has cleansed us from all our righteousness. Don't sacrifice for all of humanity. God does not desire any other sacrifice from us. Come to him with thanksgiving. Come before him with praise. Honor him. Reveal him to the world. Testify about his faithfulness. Be his ambassador here on earth. Testify about the submission of Jesus Christ. Tell people the truth. Show them the door through which you came in so that the, the world may come into our God. Reveal to them that our, that our gates that must be lifted up, our heads must be lifted up for the ancient of days to come into dwell with us. Tell them about the goodness of God in your life. Glorify God through your life, through your deeds, through, 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 through the things you say. Give him praise. Give him thanks. In the name of Jesus Christ. That was God, what God wants for us. Because God is the only righteous judge. If we are right to judge the living and the dead. Then. But now we are before his mercy seat. 
Come to him with thanksgiving. Praise him. Thank him. So that we can receive strength to do what God wants us to do in this world. In the name of Jesus Christ. He is the only mighty God. He has spoken and his word will not return to him empty. The word God is speaking to us today is that what I want from you is thanksgiving. Amen? That the mighty one, the God, the, the, the mighty one, God the Lord, has spoken and called the earth. He called the earth. From the rising of the of, of the sun to its going down. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, beauty, God will shine forth. He has spoken and his hope is stand firm. And not we stand against what God has spoken concerning who he is and what he wants us to do, what he desires from us in the name of Jesus Christ. Then when we go down, we can see that God said, I don't need any sacrifices. I don't need anything from you at this time. I'm the righteous judge. I'm, I'm going to judge everyone. Amen. I do not need anything from you. In verse 5, God says that gather my sins together to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Let the heavens declare its righteousness, for God himself is judge. Amen. Then he went on to say, Yeah, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel. I will testify against you. I am God your God. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices. You have given me so many sacrifices. You have made a covenant unto me with true sacrifices. I'm not rebuking you for that. I will not. I will not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings because they are continually before me. I will not I will not take a bull from your house, nor goats out of your folds, or every beast of the forest is mine. I will not take anything. They are always before me. I do not delight in all these sacrifices. Amen. Glory, hallelujah, amen. And the cattle on a thousand is. I know all the beds of the mountains and the wild beasts of the feet are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world is mine and all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offered to God. That's what God is saying. That's the word that came to us. Offered to God. Thanksgiving. Offered to God. Thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Offer to God Thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. That's what God wants us to do. That's what He desires of us at this time. That or desire of us to do. Amen. That we should offer to Him Thanksgiving and pay our vows to the Most High. That we should call upon Him in the day of trouble. That He will deliver us. And you shall glorify me. We thank our God who gives us instruction, who has not left us in ignorance to suffer, to walk around doing wrong things. God who teaches us how to honor him, how to worship him, how to praise him. Amen. So that we will be blessed and be delivered from every affliction that the enemy will ever bring against us. That shows you the extent to which God truly loves us. He does, he not, he does not want us to be ignorant. Never. We are seen that's when he sent his son to die for us. Even up to day, today, he's still speaking to us through people. In dreams, in, in revelation, in visions, he's still teaching us how to relate with him. How to give him pleasure because he loves us. He, he does the praises of his children. He said, what I want you to do is to offer to me thanksgiving. Pay your vows to me. And you call upon me in your time of trouble. In, when you pass through any trouble in this world. And I may arise to defend you, to help you. I'm your God. He's training us. He's the God who instructs sinners on the way on which they walk on. He holds the hands of sinners. He helps us. He helps us and makes us new people. He reveals to us His will so that we'll be powerful as we repre represent Him in this world. So that wherever we go, when we have tasted and seen the goodness of God, and God has not failed us, we can stand boldly on the foundation of our faith to begin to testify that truly you can trust God. As we have a, share, a, 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 crowd, a crowd of witnesses above us today telling us, continue, do not turn back. That's the truth. We pass through this world. You can trust God. Continue. That's the way we should be to the generation coming after us. Amen. That trust God. God did this for me. He will do it for you. The same God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we give you thanks this day. We bless you for your faithfulness and your love. Great are you, God, in the affairs of your children. Great are you in our lives. Great are you, Jehovah God. Be that exalted for your for this message that has come forth with power today, with your authority to accomplish very purposes for which we are sending forth. 
you don't desire a sacrifice for us from us, Father Lord, but thanksgiving that we call upon you. We pay our vows and we call upon you that in our times of trouble that you will answer us. Answer us today and help us in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to your mighty name. In Jesus' mighty and precious name, we have prayed. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord reigns. Blessed be our God. May the rock of our salvation be exalted. Amen.